Hello everyone, welcome back. So in this session today we are going to see how we can handle the shadow root elements or the shadow dome elements in WebDriver IO. Okay, so we have understood already what is the shadow root element and why we are using. If you are not sure, I will be sharing the link into the description below. You can refer to that. So in a high level, the shadow dome elements are nothing but it is an isolated HTML dome embedded inside your actual HTML dome to separate your original styling based on the uh, requirement actually now let's see how exactly the this looks like so if I go inside this in a regular way you might not feel actually like this is inside a shadow I mean though I have read uh, I've written here that's why you might be knowing but then in reality in real time applications we won't be writing like it is inside a shadow or something the basic concept be uh, of this is that when you really try to identify you think this is input of type text let's say that if i do if i go to the my selectors hub and let's say that if i want to highlight this particular element for an instance let's say that i will say my hyphen open and i will say component so you can see that it is able to identify that and when I see here you can see that it is able to identify it but when I really get inside my code and try to identify this it won't be let me show you that so what I'm going to do here I have already written this shadow dome now here I will do await and I will just say that this normal and I will put it inside this and I will say dot set value dot set value I'll say QAB box. Let's say that. Okay. Now let me run this particular test case. I have already set that into my wdioconf.ts, so you don't need to worry about that. Let me run this. And you can see that it is waiting for that wait for timeout actually, whatever I've specified because it will not identify the element and you can see that this element is not found so that's the thing so though you are identifying into this uh, selector sub because it is basically they have written the inbuilt code actually to handle these things but inside this it is not able to identify as regular your web elements so if you go to the documentation here like if i go web driver io and i will say shadow shadow then you will see that they have specified this actually so when you are trying to identify any of the elements inside your shadow root elements you shouldn't be using the normal dollar rather you need to use the dot shadow dollar actually so up to here it is fine okay because up to here actually there is no shadow elements it is the regular html dome but when you get inside this input element right it is inside a shadow root you can see hash shadow root means what i need to do after this means inside this if any of the child elements if i want to identify i have to use this shadow dollar actually now let's see that if it works fine or not so i will be removing this portion from here and i will say shadow and you can see shadow dollar is for single element identification let's say that inside that i have multiple text boxes out there then you can use the shadow dollar dollar like your normal difference between find element and find elements the same thing is applied here so i will be doing like this and i will say inside this i will say input now if i do this dot set value it should work let me show you that now let me rerun this code and you can see the text got entered and it passed the test case so like that you can use that so any element that is inside this shadow root you can just identify that by using the shadow dollar okay so this is one of the way uh, so there is if you see i mean uh, there are two types of shadow dome elements are there one is open and then there is closed shadow now web driver io doesn't support identifying the uh, what do you call javascript also that we can use it i will show you that what i'm trying to say so if you quickly go to this console and let me run one of the thing here i'll say document okay i'll say dot I'll say query selector and if you come down this this is basically the CSS selector only now if I put here my open components component I guess 
and you can see that it is able to identify that now if i write the same thing and i will say that dot input okay like let's say that dot query selector again and i will say input okay so as you can see here it directly identifies that now if i take this entire thing right here and i will try to execute it here let's say that i want to execute that how do i execute actually all this javascript inside my uh, web driver io so there is a way actually and that way is nothing but you can even use browser dot i will say execute script you can see that there is an option and inside that i will be using this actually now here what i'm going to do because it should return me an element so inside this i will say return okay so this is the syntax and here you need to just provide null so th this is basically the return here this all these things whatever i have written now here what i need to do i'll put a await and i will say let and el equal to now this is nothing but the exact uh, what you call shadow root and after that query selector now on this particular element i can directly act on this now for this what i need to do because this is actually a javascript element i want to convert that into the web driver io element so for that i will be doing like this and i will say dot set value and you should it should enter actually a new value like let's say that i'm trying to print this one actually so what it will do for this actually this is very web driver io specific so this set or dollar whatever it is there right so this entire stuff i'm writing into a core actually javascript here so this is another way of handling the shadow root the concept is very simple like shadow dollar is nothing but replaced by shadow root after this whatever you are specifying that will be inside your shadow root now let's run this test case and see if it works so you can see that qap box printed and after that it overridden with this particular value whatever i have entered here actually so like that now for the closed shadow right like if you see there is uh, like if you would have understood the difference between open and close in close also you can able to do that okay so there is a reference actually like if you talk to your developers where there are certain closed shadow root elements are there which also you can automate it the only condition is that you need to understand what is the reference variable they have attached actually there there should be a reference attached to the javascript that you need to understand this is very rare scenario where you your all of the shadow root elements will be closed it is always open only so that you can use it but in case if it is closed i can show you that in case of uh, what you call our javascript so i'll just do a simple change here okay now if i run this like let's say here shadow root and here if you see this is a closed element like let me show you this one with the reference whatever i'm and then you will be sure you can see there is a my close component is there but all of these elements are inside a reference variable that is underscore root actually that is how the javascript is written that's why i know that and now if i run this actually here just one thing i need to change here so this should be closed and now if i enter okay you can see that so no need to put that shadow root actually here you can just put that particular reference and you can see that it is very clearly showing as closed now inside this if i do like for an instance let's say that i will do like this query selector and if i put here like this and i will say input and it should identify the closed shadow domes input variable now if i run this like let's say that i am copying this one and i will put it inside this for an instance let's say that i am saying let el equal to equal to await 
browser dot execute script execute script and inside this I will be putting this entire thing here okay so here I will say colon uh, double quote and comma and this should be the one and here if you come it should be again return okay like this and this line is not required okay so now this is i'm handling the document dot query selector for the closed component so instead of sadder root i'm giving the reference actually let's see if it works fine or not and you can see that uh, it is saying the element is not interactable means there is some issue with the web driver io where it is not able to identify this root actually it's only considering the shadow root as part of the element so that is why the closed uh, shadow dome elements you cannot use it though there is a reference attached you cannot really execute that it should be always the open shadow only so that is how you will be executing so now in this case if you understand this correctly we have learned two different ways one is by using the shadow dollar the another is that browser dot execute script by using this particular what do you call uh, method actually where document dot query selector but normally most of the scenarios this works fine i mean always it works i have tried in couple of different uh, applications as well now there is another application this is very straightforward right like you see that there is only one shadow root inside this directly you are using there are instances where you will see nested like shadow root let's say that there is a div under that there is another shadow root and then input is there which you want to access it for an instance if i go to this particular url here actually you will see almost all elements are inside the shadow dome only like if i just go and inspect it you will see that for an instance let's say that i want to highlight this one actually so i'm inspecting this and let's say that i'm keeping here and if you come this h2 actually so this is a header i want to identify it for an instance you can see that so this is not inside this shadow dome but if you go over you can see there is a shadow root that is open shadow root okay but if you see this shadow root is not again independent it is inside another shadow dome actually also you can see that so this is my first shadow dome which page equal to home after that there is a child shadow root you can see that whose parent is name equal to home then you have this h2 actually now so this two shadow dome elements we want to identify it this is the first shadow dome actually on this particular html dome so it means that first i want to identify this particular page equal to home so for this i will be doing one thing i'll just copy this one so this is actually single shadow but if you go here so verify nested i'm just writing here and inside this i will be copy pasting this one actually the new url oops sorry so i'll just say this one and here so what i'm going to do here i'll say page okay equal to home i will be keeping that inside okay square bracket so this is basically i'm doing the query selector which you know after that what i'm going to do the next shadow root element now what is that shadow root element not this one actually because i my shadow my expected element is inside this particular now this is name equal to home now to identify this i need to use the shadow here so shadow dollar of name equal to home okay normally i tried name equal to home it didn't work so i'm taking the class actually sometimes it won't work with the query selectors or the css selectors you need to try different ways or you can even give the sop hyphen home if it is only one element in your entire screen so at this moment i'm trying the iron selector which is my class how can i identify a class in css selector short format is this one okay so after this let me see this shadow root i want to identify so under this i have this s2 means to identify this s2 i need to use this shadow dollar so here i will be writing another shadow 
okay so here shadow and inside this i will be writing that h2 okay which i want to identify so this h2 is now on on two shadow root elements so the first second then you are getting this h2 actually now here i can directly apply the set value and i can use whatever i want to print actually this is not a text box right i want to just get the text out of that from that particular like if you see this is a text right so i can use it by get text let's say that i want to put it inside a text variable okay and i'm just commenting this one in fact i don't need this one so here i will say console dot log and i will say that print actually so i will say nested shadow text expected text whatever it is there i'll say text this text i want to print it and let everything i will be removing it now let me run this and see if it works fine or not for this actually i will be commenting this one the first one and let's run this test and it should execute that and you can see that nested shadow text this is my customized text and then you will see men's out beer and if you come to this you should see that like that you can be keep on using actually the shadow dollar element it's very straightforward just don't get confused you need to understand the dome structure very clearly whether it is inside a shadow element or not if it is inside a shadow element then just use a shadow dollar that is how even we can use this as a utility method method let's say that a lot of, of your elements are inside a particular shadow uh, elements i mean shadow dome it is present what you can do you can send the parent element and then the shadow element which you want to identify it you can write a utility method these two things you can keep it as a variable we have already understood about how to create the variable and everything right if you refer to the locators uh, what you call session you will get to know how we are really using this actually here so like that you can be using that okay so that was uh, uh, about the shadow dom elements let me know if you guys face any issues or any other web web applications that you are automating and getting some challenge we can talk on that okay so that's pretty much it for today uh, hope this session is useful do subscribe to this youtube channel because we will be seeing some more interesting topics in future thank you for watching